Just got a huge shipment from Amazon, so I thought I would talk about, uh, just in general, I thought I'd show you kind of my people have asked, uh, kind of what the uh, library is, is about and what's going on with that. Thanks again for the hearts already. Hey, Joe, for Joe Taylor, what's up? So um, just got this big shipment of books. I'm getting them every few days or so, too much to post. I used to post them on Facebook. And this is all based around um, me trying to rebuild my library. Good to be here again. I was here this morning. Oh yes, welcome, welcome back. Um, hey Jeremy, what's going on? Uh, so anyway, I'm Jeremy Franson from Internet Business Mastery, the number one internet business podcast in iTunes since 2005. And right now I'm working on different epic projects, things that I consider epic. One of them is rebuilding my library. Uh-oh, cat made it in. So this is Minerva. Somehow she ended up in here. That's my daughter's cat. Uh, but anyway, so uh, I'm trying to rebuild my epic library. I used to have about five bookshelves, um, excuse me, worth of books. And I ended up giving almost all of them away uh, because I went into this whole minimalist stage. I instead, you know, got a bunch of books on here and on a Kindle. Uh, and now I'm back to rebuilding the library and, and getting a whole bunch of stuff uh, that I didn't already have. So I was going to show you what I got today and also show you some of the other stuff I've been building. So this is day 47 since I started. Spent about a grand in books. Almost all of them used books. That's a tip. Funny, I was just in the middle of watching an earlier scope. Ah, <laughs> great. So that's funny. Are you no longer on a minimalist thing? Uh, kick, yes. Um, I am with exception of my library. I st I, we'll see. I'm, I'm looking at uh, buying a new place, which is going to be just a tad bit uh, b bigger than this. I wanted kind of acreage and stuff. But anyway, so... Um, back to the whole idea of epic i wanted to you know kind of put in your mind as well what can you do today that can be epic now i've been planning this for for a little while and obviously i ordered the books that are that i'm going to show you in just a second you know last week or so and one of the keys to getting a building a big library like this um, that i was able to found is i like the hard covers so um that's one of my favorites but one of the things i do is i buy the used books and sometimes you can get the used books, the used hardbacks for, uh, you know, as much as two cents all the way, you know, I think the most I've paid is maybe eight bucks when normally a hardback, like let me show you one of these. Here's one that I think is somewhere, it's a pretty thick book. Here's one that um, I think is normally about $27 or something. And then I even got this, um, something I'm really interested in. This is obviously a college book, so believe me, I, I paid pretty good for this one, even used. Uh, the Principles of Economics, totally wanted to check that one out. Um, but anyway, let's see if I can get these back up here. I never bought them used because I didn't want them marked up and highlighted. I'll tell you what, out of all the ones I bought so far, which I'm in somewhere around the 70s or 80s since, I've, I've bought about, let's just say 70 books in the last month and a half. So far, um, I haven't found, I flipped through them and kind of check them out. I found a couple of them that were, um, you know, uh, what is it called, where they bend the pages, but I haven't found any highlighted. So it's okay to me, because I, I highlight by circling with a pen. So if somebody highlighted something already, uh-oh, cat, cat's having some problems. Yeah, dog ear, there we go. Um, I, I don't mind that. So, and plus, again, out of 80 books, I've only found one that had that. Now my cat's having some fun here. So I thought I would uh, show you kind of what's going on here. All right, so here's what I bought. Let's get the cat here. Stop. <laughs> okay, so here's the books I got today. Let's see. I'm not sure how to make that focus better. Yep, there's the kitty. Uh, so it looks like they're somewhere around, I don't know, 10, 12 books right there. And um, and by the way, if you want to see some of the stuff I'm reading and even kind of get into some sort of a, a book discussions as well, you can go to, let's see if it'll even focus on it, Epic Life Quest. That's my Facebook page. Just type in Epic Life Quest. All right. So here's my new library. Um, and unfortunately, the sun is right on me, so I can't focus a whole lot better. But... Um, 
almost all of these books are from the last 47 days. And uh, this, this right here, this is an entire s series on history from Will Durant, which is really awesome. Very, very exciting. Um, just, I lost my other skull, so I had to buy another skull. Yeah, th uh, that is the Will Durant series right there. So I've got three bookshelves, just bought these new ones. I have a bunch downstairs, um, but I'm trying to fill them up here just in my office. So this is my office setup. There's three here right now, obviously, until I fill this up with books. This is kind of a gear thing. And then I've got another one on the other side of the door here that I'm also going to fill up. Right now it's all of my uh, uh, Periscope gear. But yeah, so I've... This is the, one of the things that I've decided to do in my kind of quest for epic, as I call it. So there's this, and tomorrow I'm actually going to talk about all the books that I uh, got a hold of in the last month or so. Uh, this is one of them right here, amazing book, Louder Than Words. Um, if you're trying to, let me uh, flip this around here. So yeah, this is, this is one of my favorite books from last month. Uh, I was able to read 12 books last month. Now, part of that, uh, let's see, do you only keep the winners? I know there are some books you said you'd never read twice. Um, right now, since I've only been doing it for about, I don't know, 47 days is when I s started reading the three to five books a week. So far, there's only been three or four that I didn't like and I haven't chucked them yet. Actually, they're over on the other uh, bookshelf. And, but I'll, I'll probably, I don't know, give them away to the library or I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But uh, uh, for right now, I'm, I'm, I haven't found that many really bad ones. Basically, if it's a three, four, or a five, five being the highest, I'm going to keep it. And generally, the fours and the fives, I go pretty in detail. Like this one, um, I marked up pretty good. And I haven't even gone through this section of the book and this section of the book yet because I was only looking for this one specific thing, which is about finding your vision uh, with your uh, authentic voice. But um, so the fours and the fives get completely marked up and um, the threes, I'm going to keep whatever markings I get, but uh, they'll stay on here. And the other ones probably give them to the library. So there you go, I just wanted to show you. Now I'm, I'm getting somewhere, like I said, somewhere between let's say six and even in, t in today's case, 12 books um, from Amazon in building the Epic Library. What are you doing right now that you consider Epic, an Epic quest? And uh, while I'm waiting, oh man, thanks so much for the hearts. While I'm waiting for, uh, I gotta find a way to, how can I put some of these into the shot? Here we go, there we go as if I'm looking through. But um, what are you doing that you believe is part of your epic quest? And make sure, by the way, if you haven't um, followed me before, go down, click the little guy, and go ahead and click the plus button, add me. And uh, I talk about habits, epic life stuff, even internet business, because uh, I've been doing that for a long time. And make sure to join the Facebook group. It's Epic Life Quest. Just type in Epic Life Quest, it's the only one there, and definitely join, and I will put you in as soon as I see it. And I don't know, any other questions for anybody? Um, let's see. Again, uh, one of the other books I really, really liked, which is actually in the other room because I'm doing the highlights into an iBook so I can email myself the notes, is uh, Willpower. That was really good. Building a brand, creating habits, systems, and routines that will help me get closer to my goals. There you go. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Which book in your stack are you most excited about? Oh my gosh. Well, let's see. Have you guys heard of Uncertainty? Let me see if I can, oh my gosh, heavy. Uh, here we go, Epic uh, Life. My Epic Quest involves better eating. Essentialism, yes, I have that right here. That is on the list to read. Um, that's not one of the ones uh, right away. Uncertainty, probably going to read that right away. Um, <laughs> I know this is will probably seem crazy, but this uh, the principles of epi, epi, oh my gosh of economics. I'm completely interested in that. I also have 
Team of Rivals, this book, very interesting to me. And then one more, let's see, oh, here we go. Flourish, that's another one. Uh, study a lot about happiness. Oh my, that looks boring. Yeah, I guess it depends on what you're interested in. I like to, um, I like to have a wide range of stuff I'm reading, some how-to books, some past uh, books. Uh, oh, ep economics, yeah. <laughs> really good to know. I mean, a lot of people say, uh, now, it seems like, I can't remember if you talk, you talk about money, right? But uh, I like to know all about different aspects of, of multiple different categories. One of the things that uh, I found when I got started with business was I was completely incapable of handling large sums of money. I didn't, uh, I didn't know, you know, like how many people know right now, what do you do with a million dollars? Like, so when Jason and I started getting to the point where we were dealing with large sums of money because our business was successful, um, oh, the movie Lincoln was based on this. I actually didn't know that, but that's pretty cool. I'm going to check that out. Wealth of Nations, I have that. I don't think I have it here. Well, here's the Wealth and Poverty of Nations. <laughs> but I have the Wealth of Nations. That was one I bought a couple of weeks ago. But, you know, to be able to understand so many different categories, at least just a little bit, kind of a renaissance I talked about about a month ago, um, uh, having a renaissance and not just focused because for the last 10 years I've mostly been focused on business and philosophy but I hadn't branched out and integrated other aspects of my life oh yeah the sun's coming in nice now um, but anyway so that's why I'm trying to read economics I'm trying to read a whole bunch of uh, different things as well as just business book books or just how-to books and right here I even have um, the Hilton's it's in plastic. Trying to read a lot of biographies as well, too. Want to see the um, courage that other people take to build massive empires and, and lead an epic life. So, so basically, that's, that's it. Just wanted to show you some of the books and try and do a second cast. Uh, I've only done that once or twice. Let's see. It looks like I'm in an 80s video now stripes across art of manliness has a, a good book list i'm going to check that out hey by the way yeah let me tell you inside of the epic life quest um facebook group i just added a link oh that reminds me of a book about the budweiser family haven't read that one yet but um there's a site called book bookicious b-o-o-k-i-c-i-o-u-s and they have a collection of book lists from like some of the biggest people in, it looks like tech mostly, Bill Gates, um, Steve Jobs, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, and a whole bunch of other people. Um, and I put that in the Facebook group. So if you want to check that out, those are going to be the next series of book lists that I go through and start buying uh, some of the top books, at least the ones I'm interested in, from some of these like unbelievable influencers in the world. So Anyway, there you go. Um, thanks again for showing up. Uh, probably tomorrow. I will probably be back into the habit stuff tomorrow. Still digging incredibly deep into that stuff. And uh, guys, I'll talk to you later. Thank you so much for coming.